Hello everyone, in this video I'm gonna create some tutorial about multiple select calendar or date picker. So uh, as we know, uh, there is uh, nothing like this on the flutter flow. Uh, on the flutter flow we have uh, some widget called calendar. But I think uh, there is uh, no multiple selected date. So uh, we need to create some custom widget from the package pub.dev. And this is the package that I'm using. So uh, first thing first is we need to copy the version of this package. And after that, uh, you need to create abstead and abstead call that pick. And the type is dead time. And don't forget to check for the list. After that, uh, you need to create the custom widget. Just following the instruction. Uh, with this example we need to copy the import package and then uh, we need to call uh, the the configuration uh, in this uh, in this package actually provide about uh, that uh, I think uh, at least for three kinds of calendar the first one is a uh, single mode as usual for basic calendar and multi mode and it is the calendar that i want to create in this time and the range mode uh, this is uh, good enough but uh, in my previous video i think i already have that uh, tutorial and yeah uh, you can choose uh, uh, whatever you want and then uh, you you will uh, see the configuration on the custom code or the custom widget code for example in this custom code i configure it for the multi selected or multi and then uh, you can also choose uh, whatever color that you want for the selected uh, that for this one for mine and then um, I think uh, oh yeah uh, for this custom widget uh, uh, when the calendar selected or the dead selected I set up for the or I updated for the app state value including the selected uh, dead so that's why uh, I called a uh, retrieve for the for the that uh, value into the list view so the the view will be like this and then uh, I also add some action on the list style so when I click uh, one of this uh, list style this is will be deleted the the value of the asset at that at this index and will be uh, and the view on the calendar widget also will be gone so uh, I think that's it guys uh, if you want to implement this calendar widget uh, I already share this uh, this uh, project to public and I will put the link on the description below and you can uh, you can uh, do the rest uh, like uh, importing to the your own project and etc but uh, if you guys are new for for flutter flow i also want to create uh, this thing from beginner like a step by step so you guys will be clearly understand what i'm doing in this project so I will open a new tab.
I don't need any database just for demo needed and for singles is uh, we we go to abstead and create new abstead with uh, type is the time and check for is list and after that you can go to the custom custom code menu so add for the custom widget add uh, the button add dependency go to the path.dev website and click for the copy icon Base and click for the reload button after that give name for the custom widget and oh yeah in this custom widget I also putting some parameter so uh, we can fill the the value of the calendar selected calendar with the with this parameter but uh, as you see I set up for the nullable setup so it's mean uh, this is not will be required parameter but if you want to fill the value with your existing or existing existing calendar value like uh, the list of the dates that you have this is could be used for that one and I will cut for the parameter with the type also the time check for is list and after that after everything is set up like uh, widget name parameters and then the dependencies uh, make sure this is reloaded you can click for the uh, green button this is called by your path code and then uh, click for the copy to editor so after that I will copy paste from the, my existing widget, copy for the import package, and then I will copy for the, the rest code. After that, after you, you make sure everything already copy. Uh, you need to sub or click the sub widget button and then uh, you need to click for the this button for the build custom widget button and uh, you need to wait after uh, everything is built sometimes it's a uh, take like uh, three or five minutes sometimes it's a uh, quick
Okay, uh, now we are successfully create a custom calendar with a uh, no error show. So after that, I will I will put the custom calendar widget uh, inside the page. Or making this callable, and then click add custom calendar. This is will be required for the for the dimension. We can we can set up for the hundred percent, and for height I just need for hundred pixel. After that, uh, this is will be will be perfectly show and functional on your project. But as uh, my previous demo, I. I have some detail of the selected calendar, so I will add another widget called list view. And inside list view, I will put some list style, and I will delete for the subtitle. Give some space for the list view thing like uh, five pixel and uh, to fill the list view with a background query uh, commonly we are using uh, when we are using Zupabes or Firebase we we are using for this one backend query but regarding this is uh, the source is from the app set so we need to configure with a generate dynamic children in this type Give the name, this is up to you. And for the value, we're going to get from the dot pick. Okay, save. And for the title, we just need to change with the value from this generating item. And I want to set up for the the time format. And if you guys uh, want to implement the delete delete action, you just uh, need to list style, go to list style, and then uh, give an action to update app stat. select for the app stat this is the only one app stat and um, I want to remove from list at the index and choose for the generate item this is main the index and index in list so when we click uh, one of this list this is will be uh, deleted the the, the that okay guys I think uh, just uh, just like that the, tu the tutorial from me and this time if you guys have any question just feel free to asking me uh, any question on the comment section below thank you for watching